Russell Fork Pharmacy is your locally owned pharmacy, offering fast, friendly service with competitive prices and free delivery. Call 606-754-7085. Visit RussellForkPharmacy.com and download our free mobile app for refill requests and more. A Floyd County Sheriff's deputy was injured this week when he was poked by a syringe allegedly located inside of a suspect's pocket. Floyd County Sheriff John Hunt tells us that during the course of a theft and drug investigation over the weekend that resulted in several arrests, a deputy searching a suspect's pocket was stuck by a syringe. The deputy was taken to a local hospital and treated for the injury. What we were doing is executing a couple search warrants uh, in the recent days up to the last week, uh, trying to recover some stolen items and stolen property. Uh, a couple individuals that we ran along um, obviously had loaded syringe needles on their persons and didn't tell deputies and uh, during a pat down uh, deputies were stuck with the needles and then uh, obviously that causes them to have to go to the hospital and be checked out too. So there is a big danger in it. We're seeing more of it and uh, it's something that we have to be very careful of but we ask people to help us too and let us know if they got a needle it goes a long way. And obviously they're trying to conceal it and hide it and we understand that. We know they're not going to confess and just say, hey, hey, I got a needle on me. But when it comes time to you know that you're going to get caught anyway, you know, and some people do. They honestly are some people that says, hey, you know, before you do that, I got a needle on me or a gun in my pocket or whatever. But uh, for those that don't, it, it's very dangerous. And we, not all of our guys are, have the, uh, they have gloves that's, you know, puncture proof. Uh, not all of them have those, but it's something we're having to look at getting now. The officers did go to the hospital and were checked and haven't heard anything back negative from the results of the test, so hopefully everything is good. If you're with somebody and you know that the other person has something, uh, I mean, don't be afraid to pull us to the side and say, look, you know, before you go sticking your hand in somebody's pocket or in their pocketbook or just anything compartment, you know, they have needles in there. So, and it goes a long way and hopefully we'll be as courteous and cordial and, and uh, pay them back the favor. So, and it goes a long way. The investigation into the theft and drug case is ongoing, as is the investigation into the injury to the deputy.